Fourth annual Women's March is happening in downtown L.A. In just over an hour, hundreds of thousands of marchers are expected to fill the streets to march for women's rights. CBS in L.A.'s Lori Perez is in downtown L.A., where marchers are gathering for a rally in Pershing Square before the event begins. Lori. <laughs> Yes, Tom, just a small number of uh, marchers have arrived at this point, but they are here where a rally has started behind me. We are, as you said, at Pershing Square. Right now they have um, a Native American group up uh, getting their message out, uh, the first in a long lineup of speakers that uh, are expected to take the stage today, both here at Pershing Square and at City Hall. Now, this event started at 9 a.m. and uh, will last for about an hour. From here at 10 a.m., the marchers will take the five five mile, five mile, five block walk to City Hall. And uh, then there will be speakers and performances from 11 a.m. until 2 a.m. You can see uh, here a lot of people carrying uh, signs. The signs are always a highlight of these events. Lots of people with statement signs, statement t-shirts, wanting to get their message out in whichever way possible. Now I want to bring in, if I can, right now a young woman. Her name is Regina Selma, and she took a job to sell these uh, signs, these flags, this morning, but she said you would have been here anyway. And tell me what appeals to you about this event and about their message. Yes, I am out here selling flags, but of course um, I connected with the message just of women's empowerment, any group of oppressed people, black women, queer, transgender, Latino, I'm here to support. And it feels amazing that everyone can come out together for their own individual mission and cause, but that there's so many different people here. Um, yeah, just promoting rights, empowerment, upliftment, equal treatment, all of that that we all deserve. So, so this is... Right, absolutely. And this is um, one of several events around the country um, that are going to be happening. For sure, the presidential candidates will be watching, as well as the president. I mean, what would you want the message for them to hear from this large gathering of people all over the world? The presidential candidates, I would love for them to know that diversity and oppressed people's rights are real. They are needed uh, to be addressed and cared for. And I stand behind anyone who I genuinely feel cares, which my pick would be Bernie Sanders. Um, but yeah, a genuine care and a genuine urgency to help people. That should be a natural human desire. And a lot of times it doesn't seem that way. So yeah, to put a real message to people that we all deserve to be treated as humans. And a lot of analysts are saying that the women's vote and that young people's vote are going to be critical in this election and could, in fact, um, be the driving force in who picks the president. Do you find that a lot of um, young women your age are active and, and ready to vote? Yeah, definitely. I'm ready to vote. I'm ready to get Trump out. Uh, I'm ready to vote for, like I said, most likely Bernie Sanders. And yeah, I think it's important. I feel like my generation, I'm 31, so any similar age group, I feel like we're really you know, uh, empowered and using our voice and not caring about, you know, how it looks or what people think, which I think is amazing. Um, and hopefully the candidates see that. Absolutely. Thanks so much, Regina. Very nice talking to you this morning. Again, you can see, uh, you know, the large number of people who are beginning to gather here in Pershing Square. Again, Tom, as you know, those signs, those statement T-shirts are always a highlight of these events. People are very clever in the ways that they want to get their voices heard. As you said, uh, half a million people expected at this event today. The roads around here from Pershing Square to City Hall are going to be closed. They are uh, urging people, if you're coming down here, to take public transportation. I have been over, over here some people who took uh, the metro here saying how easy it was. Um, so that's a good sign uh, for the expected large crowds here today. Tom, back to you. Hey, Laura. Yeah, so what's your sense of just how intense the mood is there? I mean, I, I don't know if you were at the last one or just your sense of how people are gathering and, you know, plan to march today. Well, you know, I mean, I get the sense. I, I didn't, I'm sorry, I didn't hear the first part of your your question, but I think that people are here there. There is a real sense of urgency because this is an election year, and some people were showing up quite early today. Um, as early as 7 o'clock, we saw them coming. They really want to make sure that their voices are heard, um, especially in this election year. They want uh, they want the news coverage, frankly. They want uh, the candidates and politicians to know that they are a force to be reckoned with, and they will show up at the polls ready to uh, weigh in on who they think should be leading our country. Uh, a lot of people have been coming, as I said, by metro 
Metro um, by Rideshare. We're also seeing uh, people getting dropped off by Rideshare. Uh, so they're ready to go today. It is a beautiful day. Um, it should be a, a nice day to be outside, not too hot, not too cold. Um, so that's also working in people's uh, favor. And, uh, you know, the downtown police do have this very well organized. They have uh, blocked off all of the streets around here and are really helping people to know where they should be assembling and where um, they need, they can be assembling safely um, to make sure that they are part of this event as much as they want to be. Thanks so much, Lori. Lori Perez reporting live.